Okay, from time to time, we get manufacturers that reach out to us uh, with their products. Uh, and it's related to our channel, of course. And uh, we normally pass on them, but sometimes if we think it could better our situation, in this instance we did, um, we'll accept it. And this company is Risto. Um, they're out of Lexington, Kentucky. At least their U.S. base is Lexington, Kentucky. Um, and they say king of automotive handles. So this is a door a lock handle. Um, so passcode, put it in your passcode. If you forget your key, no problem. It does have a key too. Um, we do have one on there now. Um, and we're going to show you all that. So we're going to remove that one, put this one on, do an honest review, and tell you whether we like it or not, and whether we're going to keep it on there or we're going back to the other one. Let's check it out. Okay. Double box, of course. There we go. Risto. On the, this side here, we got a little typo here. Uh, it's the Higgis security for your RV. And I'll show you that on the main camera. <laughs> I find that a lot with uh, Chinese and Japanese products. Sometimes they uh, don't have the uh, correct English uh, in this case. Has no no bearing on what we're going to check out here, so let's get into this thing here. Okay, of course we have directions. They include four AA batteries. That's heavy. I'll tell you what. So it looks like we got a extra set of sticky keypad to go on there in case you wear that out. Your fingers wear that out. Apparently, we got a little fob. Another little fob. It looks like. So, man, they got them stuck in there good. So we got two key fobs. We got the main unit itself, inside and outside. Got an extra keypad, and we got a set of batteries and the destructions. So we got a couple, of, uh, two sets of keys. So that's four keys. But this looks like a nice solid unit, really. Uh, heavy, doesn't seem chintzy, doesn't seem cheap at all. So removing some screws, get this platen, the backside or the inside of the RV platen off. The instructions are pretty basic. It's pretty easy. There's four pages here. So, I mean, and diagrams, if you can see here. We'll give you some diagrams. So pretty simple, uh, straightforward. So let's go do it. Check it out. We keep our RV out in the pole barn. Uh, keeps the sun off the uh, gel coat. Keeps it nice looking. And uh, I've already come out and turned some lights on. You can see the old uh, lock set matches right up with that new one. Pretty good. All the uh, bolt holes and everything. So the scope of this job is probably going to be a 10, 15 minute job, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm a little fussy on uh, alignment on doors. I've hung a lot of doors and probably usually take a little longer on normal doing that. You can see the old one comes out pretty easy. And if you look over to the right there, those two locks are normal for Elkhart, Indiana or area made uh, RVs. Pointing out the uh, buzz kill that I see right now, uh, the footprint on the new lock set is a lot smaller than the old one. So the full body paint didn't get in back of, of course, the lock set. So that's kind of a ugly looking thing. I'll have to put some vinyl or something over that to kind of make it look like it's meant to be. Here I'm mating in the back platen with the front with a little ribbon wire and that connector is a little tricky. There is a slot in there, so take notice in that when you install that. Got the batteries in correctly, of course. And now I'm putting in the screws. I'm not putting them down or, or tightening them up real hard now. I'm kind of like keeping them loose or barely snug. And so when I do the fit, I'm um, going back and forth. Uh, you'll see that soon here. Um, I'm going to like then tighten it up after I get it exactly where I want. So the latch is working nice and smooth, and that's real important. Uh, the door closure is going nice and smooth. You can see the deadbolt there. I'm moving that in and out. If anything's a little chintzy, maybe that little knob, that orange knob, uh, the plastic knob might be my um, one little downfall of uh, quality on this unit. But over and all, it's pretty nice. Now this lock set worked perfect with the old uh, strike plate, but uh, I decided to replace it anyways. It was a little different design. Here I am testing again, forward, backwards, in, out. Checking it all out, making sure everything's just going to be just right. We're ready for some programming now. And the manufacturer made this really super simple. One, two, three, four is the default password. We're going to test that right now by putting that in. And then by followed by either the lock or the unlock button. And you should see the cylinder move in and out. Overriding the factory code is easy. Eight plus lock. Then put in one, two, three, four, lock. And then put in your password. I'm using three, four, five, six. You do that twice with the lock after each one and you're done. 
programming your fobs is even easier. Slide the little switch up right here and then uh, detent that or put a little pen in there. Kind of shoot that in at the same time. Press the lock button on your fob. And there you go. She goes in and out with each press on the key fob. Now you will have to do that for the second uh, fob as well. So press that in at the same time, pressing the lock button on the second fob and you should have a go on that. And there you go. Look at that baby go in and out. Very good. I was very impressed with everything. Uh, every button I pressed, it was there was a function in back of it, so there was no ghosting anywhere. I like that a lot compared to the old one, and I will not probably be going back to that old one anytime soon. Um, this one's really nice. I don't like the white around there. I think I'll get some like black vinyl or something and wrap that and uh, heat gun that and kind of make it look like a back plate on the lock set. Okay, this is the Debbie test right now. There's Debbie. Okay, so now. Nice. Shut it. Yep, shut it firmly. Okay, so now we're going to give Debbie the key fob. And first you want to lock it, so put in your code and then hit the lock button, and so it'll, it locks it. I'll, I'll blur it out. So. Okay, so now she's locked. Can't get in. Go ahead, try it. Just make sure. Yep, okay. So now hit the key fob, hit your unlock. On the black. The black. Yep, hit the unlock. Well, there, there you go. go. Woohoo! I love how that opens. There is. Our old one didn't do that. This is way better. Okay, so Debbie thinks this one's way better. And so far, I do like it better. The only thing I don't like what? or dislike is, is because we have full body paint on our RV. So this is showing. You'll come up with something. I, I could probably buff a little of that out, but it's yeah. never going to. Yeah. No, but I mean, you could do something in there. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably. Okay, well, I'm glad. Thank you. Yep, it looks good and works really good. I mean, yeah, I like one, it. Okay, so I'll tell them about the other one, Debbie. Oh. Because that one would work sometimes yeah, and then other sometimes times. Sometimes the cold would work. It and wouldn't then work. If he was somewhere, I have to find him because he'd have now the these, keys. These and I keystrokes or these buttons seem to be Bigger, like different. Firm. No, yeah. they're firm. I mean, they, yeah. they seem to like make, they register the electronics every time. And we've, I've done it 50 well, times already. With the old one, you punched it in and then you had to go. Well, this yeah. Both pop. Well, no, they're, they're both the same. Yeah. This one's better. I like okay, this one. There you go. Debbie approved. Debbie approved. Okay, thanks thumbs for watching, up. guys. We appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. If you got anything out of this video, and a like. And definitely would like a subscription. <laughs>